Welcome back to Footballology. With week five in the rearview mirror, I think there's a new trend set in place in the NFL right now. And if you stay tuned to the video, I'll let you guys know what the trend is and the reason why I think it's going to start costing the NFL new fans. So do y'all remember in the early 2000s, you were guaranteed to see at least one big hit a game? And really, that was the highlight of the game most of the time. So you can tune in to ESPN, NFL Network, whatever your sports channel of choice it was, but you're guaranteed to see a big hit on that channel because the NFL kind of let it go and they kind of let it go for too long honestly and it is starting to get kind of sort of out of hand and so when I think a lot of people start to associate with football they associated football with these big hits and it looked really dangerous so a lot of people did not want to mess with it anymore so when they took away the big hit I think a lot of team or a lot of people kind of start to fall off the wagon a little bit and that's why you see people talk about like football or guys playing football versus guys just out there being reckless and so I think they took away the big hit in the game and then they had to replace it with something and what did they basically replace it with was deep ball passing so when it came to basically replacing the excitement and that level of energy that those big hits brought to the game they replaced it with you know those passes down the field those deep balls all those shots down the field and everything so now you fast forward to I would say somewhere around 2012 all the way up to you know today honestly the deep ball pass is where a lot of people want to see when they go to a game or that's a lot of things people want to see when they tune into a football game and so now that's where you see the quarterback being protected more you see the vulnerable receiver being protected more you see all these guys being protected more because the nfl wants the passing to happen because they need to replace that excitement you have to replace that excitement with those big hits because if you didn't do so then you kind of the game was just there it was just football so now we kind of look at the last week just week five alone Pretty much what's happened in week five alone is teams are running the ball. This deep ball passing, teams understand, like, sometimes I can't, stay, I can't stop the passing game. So now teams are starting to run the ball. There was the Green Bay Packers against the Dallas Cowboys, who ran the ball extremely well and effective. The Indianapolis Colts against the Kansas City Chiefs, who ran the ball extremely well and effective. And then also we had Monday night against the San Francisco 49ers and the Cleveland Browns, who ran the ball extremely effective. Those three teams went out. And pretty much they kind of took the deep ball out of the game, really. And when you take the deep ball out of the game, the game becomes then a little bit boring and just kind of repetitive and it just looked monotonous and people don't want to watch that. And that's one reason why everybody was like, last year's Super Bowl was one of the boringest Super Bowls of all time, which you can say that in a lot of cases, but they won the ball game. And at the end of the day, that's what it really comes down to. What is what do I have to do to win ball games? And so the one way people are trying to counteract these deep ball passes or these high powered offenses, if you will, is running the ball. It does you no good when your best player is on the sideline, you know, and if your best player is on the sideline, then you can't do anything about it. You know, he's just going to sit there. And that's really what happened against uh, with the Kansas City Chiefs against the Indianapolis Colts. Patrick Mahomes and the offense was on the sideline. And even when I got on the field, the Colts played enough good defense to make sure that they didn't get a lot of big plays out of that offense. So it was just really crazy. And I think that now we're seeing a shift in the trend. We're going to start seeing a lot of more, a lot more playoff football. And usually you don't see playoff football around this time of year. You don't start seeing playoff, playoff football until like week 13 and on, week 14 and on. And that's when, you know, people are running the ball. Defenses are clamping down on offenses. And it's getting really tough because it's colder outside, it's starting to snow, all those things in between. And so you start to see people start to run the ball more because it's easier to control the game and it's easier to control the clock. But I think we're going to start to see it now, especially with a team like the Kansas City Chiefs or the Los Angeles Rams, these high-powered offenses are starting about to get or about to get neutralized. People understand how to do it now, and I think people are going to start doing it more and more effectively. And then once that happens, the game is going to be kind of boring. So I'm going to be I'm kind of interested to see what the NFL is going to do as far as replacing the productivity or that level of excitement that the big hit brought, that the deep ball passing brought. Now that every, if everybody's going to the run game, what are the NFL going to do? Because the excitement of the game is going to go down. And once the excitement goes down, I think they're going to start losing a lot more fans, honestly. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Why do you tune in every Sunday or Monday or Thursday, whatever? Why do you tune in to watch football games? Do you tune in to see those big hits, those, you know, bone crushing hits? Or do you tune in to see those 60 yard bombs down the field? Or are you just like me and you like to watch some quality defense and some good executed run game? Because take for me personally, a good executed run game is more impressive. I'll take a 60 yard gasher on the ground and a 60 yard bomb any day of the week. 
And on top of that, a good quality defense. Like, it's so hard to find good defense nowadays. So when there's good defenses on, I enjoy, I legitimately go out of my way and try to watch them because I enjoy watching good defense over just high-powered offenses. Just my opinion personally. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. What, you know, which one do you prefer, honestly? And do you feel like you get more excitement out of one or the other? But hey, if you're not a footballologist yet, go subscribe to the YouTube channel today and become a footballologist. And stay safe, football fans.